This is Gibson Mazikana, a man who was sentenced to life in prison for murdering his wife. But what was the motive behind this gruesome attack? Gibson was a mechanic who lived in Hayes Hillingdon with his estranged wife, Emily Munemo, and their two children. Emily was a nurse who worked at Watford General Hospital. They were both born in Zimbabwe and Emily migrated first to the UK in 1999. And then after a few years, she managed to bring her husband. Their marriage became increasingly troubled by domestic violence and abuse after Gibson started having an extramarital affair. In November 2013, Gibson assaulted his wife and she called the police to their home. Gibson, agitated by the police officer, went on to assault the police officer, resisting arrest. Gibson was arrested and charged with two counts of assault, one for his wife and one for the law enforcement officer. He was later acquitted by a jury for assault of he was later acquitted by a jury for assault of his wife, but was still on trial for assaulting the police officer. Gibson blamed Emily for his conviction and became obsessed with killing her. He tried to find a hitman to kill his wife and even asked one of his friends if he knew anyone who could do the job, but the friend refused to help him. Gibson also threatened Emily with messages and phone calls, telling her that he would make her pay for what she had done because he was at risk of getting a conviction and would struggle to get jobs. They were no longer living together after the court case, for he had been asked to move out. On the 30th of January 2015, the day Gibson was supposed to appear at court for his sentence hearing, he decided to carry out his murderous plan. He went to their former matrimonial home, knowing his kids were not there, in Collingwood, Road Hillingdon, armed with two knives. Emily was joyfully cooking in the kitchen when he broke into the home, approached her and launched a frenzied and violent attack on her. He stabbed her multiple times in the chest, neck and head. One of the knives broke and the blade, the blade was left embedded in her scalp. Emily tried to fight back and scream for help, but he used the other blade to finish her off. She succumbed to her injuries and died on the spot. Gibson then fled the scene and went into hiding because he knew that he would be a prime suspect. He had a pending case and he did not show up at the sentence hearing at Isleworth Crown Court for the assault of the police officer, which was scheduled on the same day he committed the murder. He was only arrested on the 2nd of February 2015 after three days of his after. He was only arrested on the 2nd of February 2015, three days later, after the police tracked him down. He was charged with murder and remanded in custody. At his trial at Southward Crown Court, Gibson denied killing Emily and claimed that he acted in self-defense. He said that Emily had attacked him first with a knife and he had only stabbed her once in the chest, which was false. He said that he loved Emily and that he was sorry for what had happened. However the, jury, the, however, however, the jury did not believe his version of events and found him guilty of murder. The judge sentenced him to life in prison with a minimum term of 27 years. He said that Gibson had shown no remorse and that he had inflicted a frenzied attack on Emily, who was a hardworking and caring man. He also said that Gibson had deprived their children of their mother and that he had caused them immeasurable harm.